There we go. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. What's up everyone? How are we doing? This is Thomas with Keller Williams here in St. Augustine and today we're doing our bi-weekly live stream. Every Wednesday I'm here at, or every other Wednesday at 8 p.m. I'm going to be here going over the market stats, going over the news and just being here as a resource for any questions that you guys might have out here about living, moving, working in St. Augustine, Jacksonville, or Palm Coast. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Reach out to me directly. Whatever that needs to be, I'm here to help. Okay? So uh, for all the people that are out there right now, I'd love to be able to ask you a question of uh, where are you guys watching from? Where are you, where are you tuning in from? Um, we have a lot of people in the Northeast, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Let me know which city you're in in the comments below, and I'd love to be able to connect. So one of the first things that I do on all of my live streams, you know, of course we do the where are you froms, but I also cover the market stats as of today. I'm gonna also flash back to April of 2019 pre-pandemic. So you guys can see what the market stats were looking like then compared to now. So I'm gonna switch over to the market stats right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, here we go. And I gotta share my screen. All right, boom. So let's take a look at these market stats here, guys. Uh, so this is April 2022. You can see here on the top right of my screen, the biggest thing is going to be median sales price. Okay, you can see our list price received is at 101%. Okay, so that's across the board at 101% sale to list price. So if it's listed at 100 grand, it's selling at $101,000. Now look at this statistic right here. This is a big one, guys. Closed over list price. Almost half of the listings on the market closed over list price. Now, of course, with 101% uh, list price received, you, you obviously that you know that a lot of homes are going over list. But that is an, like just seeing how many broken out there. Almost half is is uh, astonishing. Now, I'm able to just really quickly switch this. So let's go down here to do, do April 20 of 19. So. Not too long ago, guys, I and mean, this is only three years ago, median sale price of $255,000. Okay, see that here in the top right? This price received 97%. 10% of homes closed over list price. Now, that makes a lot more sense to me. You know, looking at that 97.4%, we were still in a seller's market at that point. So, before the pandemic, before you know the low interest rates and people moving all over because of remote work, people are already locating to relocating to our area. So it, it was already happening pre-pandemic. And you can see, like, yeah, the prices were super low, but then those interest rates came down even further. And that has an inverse relationship on prices because you can afford a lot more. People are looking to buy a bigger house when they were relocating during the pandemic. People needed an office. They need an extra bedroom for uh, you know the, the office or for the kids to have a playroom. They needed more space. And that's what Northeastern Florida offers. So I just wanted to take a quick second to take a look mm -hmm. at that. And um, now I'm going to go over to the next slide here, which is going to be the important news in the area. Okay, I'm going to cover... Um, first, it's going to be interest rates. Then I'm going to cover St. Augustine, Jacksonville, and then Palm Coast at the very end. Um, so with interest rates here, I'm going to share my screen one more time. Okay, go back to interest rates. This is from Freddie Mac. You guys have probably heard about um, this website here in, in the past. Um, they have they're a pretty big player here. Um, so mortgage interest rates, 5.27% mm -hmm. for a 30-year fixed. Probably right around now, it's at five and a half, inching up closer to six. So are we seeing that reflection in today's market here in Northeastern Florida? As of right now, no. Now we've seen the headlines where Florida is the least affordable state in the, uh, in the country, but a lot of that is coming from that South Florida area, that Miami, um, you know, West Palm Beach, um, Melbourne area, you also have, uh, Tampa as well, all of those are bringing in that unaffordability pretty much. And then you have Northeastern Florida. If you look at Northeastern Florida and Orlando, we're actually a deal comparatively to South Florida. So people come up here from South Florida, I'm working with some people from Sarasota right now, and they're like, oh my God, it's a steal what you get for here comparatively to what you get for down South. So 
people moving from all over the country and within the state, because still comparatively in Florida, Northeastern Florida is still a solid deal. So um, guys, any questions? I see we got a couple people on here. I really appreciate you being here. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. I'd love to be able to answer it. There is going to be a section for that. So please leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm here for you. So we'll go on to the next one here. My phone is blowing up. I'm sorry about that. Um, go on to the next one here. Okay, so St. Augustine Commission approves King Street takeover. Design changes to come. State to give city up to 18 million in reimbursements for corridor improvements. So King Street is the main vein in downtown St. Augustine. Up until now, the state controlled it and now the city of St. Augustine is gonna take ownership of that. So that's a big change and hopefully that results in some changes in the traffic, the walkability down here, and that's the plan. Um, you can see here, let's see, where does it say here? They're gonna get feedback from the public. So they're gonna have multiple times where the public can come in, they can talk with the architects, the engineers for how they can make this a better street for everyone that, you know, that lives here, that owns a business here. So that's actually really great to see that they're, they're asking the public their opinion. Um, so yeah, so I just wanna show you where that's at on the map here. I thought I pulled it up. Pull up here real quick. So King Street is right here. So this is downtown St. Augustine, Castillo de San Marcos right over here, Intercoastal right here, Lions Bridge. So the King Street is the main east and west uh, road to go through downtown and also to connect US-1 to A1A. So that being switched over and hopefully having some improvements, especially mm -hmm. with the Lions Bridge, is really gonna make some, uh, some solid improvements here in the area, hopefully, hopefully. So next article here on St. Augustine, St. John's County, state, local elected officials talk about budget, growth, and housing. County commissioner calls affordable housing a full-blown crisis. Now, if you guys have been listening to my live streams, you know I've said this already. We've had a problem with affordable housing here in the area, and the county is really dragging its feet on that. But they are approving some affordable housing um, townhomes here in the area. They have a couple different places they're looking to get uh, done, and they're looking to have them priced around $240,000. Now, if you look down here, this is their proposed ideas. So local projects, which is gonna to go towards Flagler College for 5 million um, to establish educational program for nourishment projects, substance abuse for women, mental health services, um, and St. Augustine Beach resiliency. Um, an increase in 327 million for affordable housing, that's a big one, increase for Medicaid expenses. Um, there's also talk of increase for teachers in here and funding for schools, here we go, right here. That's a big one too. We're seeing a change in this area and the area is reacting. These people can't, you know, teachers and the, the workforce here, they're having trouble affording St. John's County. So they're reacting and hopefully gonna do something for these people. So that's good to see. Look here, I got a comment. I'm gonna check this comment here. All right. Any opinion on Yuli? You never mentioned Nassau County. I was looking for a house on St. John's slash St. Augustine, but gave up. Choose something on Yuli. So um, Yuli is about an hour north of me, and I really don't cover it that often because it's an hour north of me. I mean, I, I, if I was covering that area, you know, I have to be an expert in a lot of things and be following up on a lot of things. Um, but it's definitely going to be more of a rural area out there. You're up there in Nassau County. You're going to be north of Jacksonville. But I mean, with how Jacksonville is expanding, I'm sure everything going on in Yulee and just around that area, you're going to see some appreciation over these next couple of years with how many people we have moving here, especially with how Jacksonville and that, that North Bank, the South Bank is redeveloping, which I'm going to cover here in a couple of the news stories. I mean, I, I really think Jacksonville, which was undervalued very much like St. Augustine for a long, long time is now seeing a lot of money come to the area and they're gonna develop that downtown waterfront to something beautiful. So if you're north of downtown Jacksonville, 30, 45 minute drive, you're gonna be in the suburbs. I think that's a money move all day. So um, I, if you do need someone out in Yulee, reach out to me directly. I got a good person I, I refer people up there to just because 
Um, it's, it's a little too far for me, but um, maybe I'll, I'll see if they want to do some YouTubes with me. Maybe I get them on a live stream or we can do a Zoom appointment. Whichever one, let me know. Reach out. Okay. The medical nomad. Oh, these guys. This is my brother and sister here, guys. So say hello. Um, they want to buy a house in St. John's County, but they're just not pulling the trigger. I don't know. I've told them to do it, but I don't want to do it. They're probably sitting at home cracking up right now, but let's get back into it. Oh, I got a text message. They text me right now. I guarantee it, but we're going to, we're going to ignore the text and we're going to go right into more St. John's County here. Um, boom. This is awesome news. Let's be honest. Costco coming to St. John's County. So this is a big, this is a big move. I have a Costco membership. I freaking love it. It's great. Um, I think they're going to get some gas stations out there too. It's right by the Bucky. So it, it really wouldn't matter. Um, but I'll show you where it's at on the map here. So whoop. show you it's on the map here. Go up 95. So we're here at International Golf Parkway. This is Bucky's right here. Costco is going to go right over here. So that's going to be literally like 10 minutes from my house, which is amazing. But in this World Golf Village, you also have Silverleaf over here. You got um, the new high school right here. This is all really developing, brand new stuff. Uh, Parkland Preserve, which I've talked about, 55 plus community right over here. Uh, Bannon Lakes is also over here, another big community. So this whole area is really seeing some good development. And it's, it's really a positive thing for the area because before there really wasn't much out there. Okay, and this is a, you know, more or less a PSA during the summers here. Sea turtle nesting season, guys. Take this seriously, okay? Um, it's from May 1st to October 31st. They already have 10 nests out there. Just got to be careful, you know, don't bring a flashlight to the beach. Um, they're turning off all lights at 9 p.m. because it distracts the mother sea turtles. So, just be on the lookout for that. Don't be, you know, going down to the beach with a flashlight. Now... On to Jacksonville. All right, so Jacksonville, like, like I've said, it's, it's redeveloping. Money is going down there. Two projects are getting pushed forward. Uh, one is the Hardwick, which this is an okay rendering, but I'm gonna show you another slide here in a second. Uh, that's getting pushed forward. And also Shad Khan, the owner of the Jaguars, wants to build a Four Seasons Hotel where the downtown shipyards are located, which is right across the street from where TIA, TIA TIAA Bank Field is. So obviously that would be ideal for him and the team. So they're trying to push that forward. He's he's been trying to redevelop downtown. He's approved plan. He's trying to push plans through, but he's probably asking for too much money and that's why it's not moving forward. But that whole the the North Bank and the South Bank is changing. Every time you go on the Jack's Business Journal, you're going to see more articles about money in downtown uh, Jacksonville. So look, look here, 41 million in incentives for the Hardwick Downtown Investment Authority. $41 million, 18 story mixed use residential tower on Bay Street and Riverfront. Now, look how cool this could be. You got your, your little marina right here, park, park your boat, walk right up to your house, take a dip in the pool, whatever you wanna do, you got access to everything from that location. If you wanna go to the beach, you're probably a good 20 minutes from the beach from that location. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I see a lot of good things coming for Jacksonville, especially if you got the, the Four Seasons going in down there too. Um, it's all just, it's all getting redeveloped. Um, and I'm actually glad, I'm gonna get back on here because I see, oh, we got nine viewers, check that out. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'm going to skip your comment, Brandon, but I'll get back to it because this is important. You look down here and we're talking about Jacksonville all the time, me and my brother-in-law, Brandon, and my sister, um, and how it's developing. Downtown Jacksonville, has, we've been waiting for something to happen on that North Bank, and it's... Um, it hasn't happened. And since the pandemic, now more money is coming in the area. The area is starting to change. Of course, we've seen prices appreciate in residential, uh, but now something is happening down there. And my brother-in-law, the medical nomad, um, he's a traveling nurse. My sister is a, physical, a physician's assistant. Uh, so they're both in the healthcare industry. Now they both know that the Mayo Clinic is kind of a big deal. Um, and they've signed a lease for space downtown. 
3,000 square feet. I mean, it's not huge, but I think that's a start. Five-year lease with a parking agreement, clinical research. I don't know. I don't know, Brandon. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So let's see. And he said, yeah. Oh, so you see, he sees the Costco being built. Real game changer. Yep. Telling you. Telling you. All right. So let's go over here. Last one for the day, guys. And this is going to be Palm Coast. School board member Trevor Tucker on school capacity, teacher shortages, and a half cent sales tax renewal. Uh, Palm Coast is blowing up just like every other place in the Northeast. Um, it's really been more or less a sleepy town. And now they're starting to see some changes, more people going to the schools. Um, and it's not that they're overcrowded. Their problem is just like everyone else is they're building schools. They're not ready yet. And they have a teacher shortage. So the shortage is a national shortage. And it's, not, it's also for bus drivers and support staff's positions as well. A lot of it has to do with pay in the area, but he says that for, for him and, and their area, they actually pay more than the surrounding counties. So this is really interesting. And I, I, when I read this article, I thought this was a great idea as in my opinion, I think college is, is going to go less, more and more to the wayside, especially with how costs have gone and inflation. And now you can learn everything on YouTube. Like if you wanna learn about real estate in St. Augustine, you follow me and subscribe. Um, but if, if you're looking here, he says that he thinks that they need to do classrooms to career specialty program rather than part of the regular K through 12 curriculum because he, he wants to grow his own. So he's talking about teachers. He wants to have teachers that can get out of high school and then start teaching people in the K through 12 curriculum. And you know what? I'm, I'm not saying that's a, a great idea. I'm not saying that's a bad idea, but it's a different idea. And I think it's worth looking into. Um, but yeah, interesting article guys. Um, looks like I got eight people on here. That is amazing. Thank you so much for spending your time here today, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you need to reach out to me, you know, go ahead. I have my phone, uh, email, whatever that is. I also have a Calendly link below. You can schedule a 30 minute appointment with me over zoom. Um, and the medical nomads blowing up my comments here let's see here so i think the, the downtown changes are cool i'm more interested in those two brand new hospitals they're building in the 16 and 207 area yeah so they're building hospital um at 207 that's going to be baptist and also i think baptist is coming on 16 too but it's going to be a smaller one so right at 95 and then at world golf village they're building st vincent's which is going to be or not world golf village my mistake 210 210 is where they're going to be building st vincent's which is really on the northern part of St. John's County. Okay, let's see. This is an addition to that. You combine that with the new Costco, I'm sure Walmart and Target will be right behind them. You've got the recipe for a big blow up. Yeah, a big box store, I think with Costco in the area, I don't really think they'll move there because they do have a Walmart in like Durban Crossing. Um, you know, so that's not too far. And that Walmart's really, really nice. Uh, that's where me and Maya do all our like grocery pickups. We don't go into the store anymore. But either way, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it for, uh, for all you guys being here today. Um, any questions, reach out to me directly. Leave a comment below. I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Have a good one.